All right, friends, today we have a fun one. Make sure you go grab your favorite drink and some popcorn. Sit back and enjoy. Let's find out what's in the box. What's in the box? Steve Mead, a.k.a. Mead916, is the largest car audio YouTube channel and has been for a while. Started back in 2016, he has over 366 million channel views, including videos like shaking windows here at the freaking store uh, with his Tahoe. Also, some of the earliest hair trick videos that I've ever seen. And one of my favorites is when he completely destroyed this phone book just using the base port from the subwoofers. Then early in the 2010s, he joined forces with Demore Engineering to develop the distortion detector, or DD1. I used one of these way back in the day with my test bench when I first started testing amplifiers. I used it in conjunction with the O-scope to help detect distortion. Soon thereafter, SEMA 2012, the introduction of the Demore Engineering SMD AD1 or Amp Dyno, which as you guys know has become a standard across the industry here over the past several years and quite impressive. Now fast forward to 2024 at SEMA, DS18 and Steve Mead Designs has introduced some new amplifier models and these things are beautiful. So that's what we have here today. So let's get back to the lecture at hand and find out what we have. And here it is, the SMD 3000.1D by DS18. Check out the box, just the graphics, the design overall. This is definitely designed to stand out on a dealer's shelf. The thing I like about it is when you get an amp like this, you know, you spend a little bit more to get an amp and you definitely want it to be shown off and keep the box. Don't ever get rid of these boxes. At the time of this video, there were three four channel models, one five channel and four different mono blocks. And as I mentioned earlier, we got the 3000 watt one, which at the time of this video, around $700. I'll leave links below in the video description so you can go check and see what the current price is. But let's get back to the unboxing, find out what's inside this beautiful box. Cut the tape, and there you go. Steve was kind enough to sign the bottom of this one. We'll show that here in a minute. You get this really cool brochure that's uh, colorful. It's a trifold model. It shows you all the different features and specifications of these new DS18 SMD amplifiers. Very, very cool. Again, I already mentioned the different models. Uh, you can check the website and give you all the detailed specs of each one. Also, the owner's manual of this is one of the best ones I've seen in recent years. They really go through a lot of the specs, um, a lot of the ways to hook it up, and a lot of the extra information that you may need as well. Back to the box to see we get a few of Allen's What the Hex wrenches, some mounting screws. In addition, we get this wireless remote control. This is for the RGB LEDs, and they're kind enough to give you instructions and also throw in an extra battery too, which is nice. Here's a remote base knob. It is on a telephone style connector, so it will stay in. It has a power and a clipping light, very smooth potentiometer, metal in case, very nice overall. Here's everything that was included. Again, the box is for display, man. It looks so sweet. All the goodies that were thrown in, it looks great. And yes, Steve signed the bottom. Very kind of him to sign this amplifier and uh, send it over to me so I can show you guys. Now it does have this protective film covering up the acrylic. So we we'll wanna pull this off and we'll pull it off slow and crank up the volume so you guys can appreciate it. And here you can tell the amplifier board is mounted upside down so you can see it through the top. You don't have to mount it upside down to be able to see the amp guts, which is really cool. And let's take a closer look here on one end of the amp. There's quite a bit going on here. So let's take a closer look here. Starting on the left, we have the power, protect, and clipping light. Then we have left and right RCA inputs. These are Tiffany style inputs, very nice. We have the gain control from 0.2 up to six volts. We also have a subsonic adjustment from 10 Hertz up to 30 Hertz. Then we have a bass boost 
which has a frequency of 30 to 60 hertz and a boost of 0 to 9 dB, low pass filter from 250 hertz down to 35 hertz, also the socket for the remote base connection, that's via a Cat5 style connector, then we have a phase control, 0 to 180 degrees, we have a link mode switch for Slaver Master and the RCA input or output to connect multiples of these up if you want to link them together. The potentiometers are also detented so you can keep your settings without them wandering. Looking at the other side of the amplifier, very simple here. We just have the speaker outputs and the power inputs. For the speaker outputs, we have eight gauge terminals. There are two different outputs even though it's a monoblock amp. Also for power and ground, we have zero gauge and a 12 gauge remote terminal there in the center. As far as dimensions go, 14.25 inches long, 9.15 inches wide, and three inches for the height. Millimeter equivalents are there as well, and that is including the end terminals and everything there for the length. Now, as far as the specs go, at four ohms, 1300 watts, two ohms, 2200 watts, and at one ohm, 3000 watts, all at 14.4 volts. Now, for the irony of the day, we're gonna use the SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno to test the SMD DS18 amplifier. If you haven't seen these tests before on the left, power output in watts, the middle the ohm load, the right the voltage of the dyno will also have the clamp so that we can estimate this amplifier's efficiency. I'm stressing that estimate for the efficiency factor just because we're using a wireless clamp. We're also using LTO batteries here from Yenlong. These are lithium batteries, excess power in Yenlong. I will not be able to keep exactly 14.4 volts, but I will keep it as close to 14.4 as possible. This here's my favorite part. Now we have the amp wired up, was fired up so we can see it powered up with the power LED coming on as well as the RGB LEDs inside the amp coming on and just really give me this blissfulness of looking uh, gorgeous of an amplifier. Seeing through the acrylic here, seeing the VM1 voltmeter there by DeMore Engineering and SMD. Just overall really nice. Now let's try four ohms. This rate of 1300 watts at 14.4. We'll do the test at 40 hertz. Certified first, here we go. And 1255, so we're not quite at 1300, but that's literally less than 4% difference. That's component tolerances are up to 5%, so we'll consider that pass. As far as uncertified up to clipping, it does the 1300 and more. We get 1,362 right at 14.42 volts. Next up, we will try it dynamically. Let's send the pulse tone 40 hertz into this amplifier. And again, we easily get that 1,300 watts It's rated. We get about 1,348, and it jumped up there 1,350 at 14.36. Next up, we'll set the dyno here for two ohms. It's rated 2,200 watts. Again, we're testing at 40 hertz. Let's try it certified up to 1% distortion. And here we go. Oh, 2160. That's within just like 2% of 2200 watts. So close. Um, definitely a pass. You would never know the difference between that and 2200 watts. Uncertified up to clipping, which honestly for subwoofer amps is what really matters. 2384, 14.52. Again, we tried to keep it as close to 14.4 as possible, but these Yenlongs like the higher 14s, the low 15s. Dynamic power, 2,500, almost 2,600 watts at 14. There it is, 2,600 at 14.61. Now let's try one ohm. I know what you're thinking. The last two tests, it didn't quite get rated, but it was so close. Can it do it at one ohm? Can it get that 3,000 watts? Yes, my friends, easily. 32.97. Almost 3,300 watts at 14 and a half volts. Next up, we'll try it uncertified up to clipping. Let's try that 40 hertz track. Watch them numbers count up and boom, 36.79, 14.24, pulling right at 400 amps of current on the clamp. Next up, we'll try the dynamic test and yes, easily over 4,000, over 4,500, over 4,600 watts at 14.7. Provide this thing the juice, it will do the power. As for the results, here are all the results, including the eight ohm test, and the efficiencies are over there on the right as well. Again, the manual states greater than 80% at four ohms, 
So we're not too far off from that, but overall, amplifier performed well. Now let's hook it up to a subwoofer. That's what you can do, not hook it up to a dyno. Let's see how it sounds to this massive audio BOA 12 inch subwoofer. Any of the knocking or rattling you hear in the video is literally just things shaking that are near the subwoofer. It's not the subwoofer itself. It sounded excellent in person. Now I know this amp has an acrylic top so you can see inside, but it's kind of like a tease. I want to see all the way inside and see what it's all about. So I have to take off a couple screws here on each side and the four across the top there that's holding the acrylic panel in. Then I can lift it up and we can take a closer look at the amplifier and see what makes it tick. This acrylic top has several different things, including a couple wiring harnesses that come down to the circuit board of the amp. We see the VM1 voltmeter, a couple fans, the controller that controls the LE. These nuts. Also have the back here of the VM1 voltmeter. And we also have a fan, sleeve bearing DC 12 volts. And ball people rejoice, because this is brushless. <laughs> this is not a Mickey Mouse program. And this amplifier is made in Korea, thus why the price is a little bit more than some of the 3K amps you may have seen. 25 volt, 2200 microfarad caps here on the power supply. 160 volt, 1000 microfarad, and these are from Neil's brother. Overall, it looks very beefy here for a 3000 watt amp. Looks very good overall. Now let's move on to the pros and cons, things I like, the things you at least be aware of. First up, the things I like. Obviously the looks of this amp, it is incredible looking. Very fancy, very nice. Looks like it goes in a show car. RGB LED backlight with remote, so you can change it whatever color you want. The VM1 integrated makes it really nice. You can see your voltage. Active cooling with two fans. They only come on when they need to. Zero gauge power and ground. Dual eight gauge speaker outputs. Tensiometers are clicky, so they'll keep your settings. Linkable and strappable. And yes, it is Korean made for quality. As for being picky here, only a few things. No voltage on the remote display. It did protect at 0.8 resistive. We'll show that later in the video. It is Korean made, so expect to pay a little bit more. But overall, you're definitely going to get your money's worth because this thing looks bad to the bone like no other amp I've ever seen. I think DS18 and SMD blew it out of the water with these. I can see these going into a lot of show cars. People who really care about their look of their system and also the sound. I think it's amazing. Not just saying that because Steve is my buddy. I really do think they blew it out of the world with these. These are awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Forty thousand watt. Forty thousand at zero ohm. Zero. SMD three K. Let's try dynamic burst at point eight. All right, 4407, and then we immediately went into protect. As with any amp I test, I don't really care if an amp goes into protect, especially lower than the ohm load that it's rated. The only thing I care is that it actually comes out of protect. In this case, it seems to be on maybe like a 30 second timer, and it came out of protect on its own. All right, so we'll power the amplifier up. Oh, it actually came out of protect on its own. Look at that. I thought I was gonna have to cycle it, but uh, apparently it just came out of protect on its own. So it doesn't like 0.8 certified or dynamic on the dyno. Again, with speakers, that's wired pretty low when you consider box rise and the amp dyno doesn't have that. But uh, yeah, I like the fact that it self fixes its protect mode when it needs to, comes out of protect, so good job.